Yeah, just uh, a lot of memories. Um, I, what's funny is I really didn't think I was going to play uh, another game against Iowa State. So this is kind of like my farewell towards Iowa State. So it's kind of funny I had to go back and hill in another year. And, um, but that's one of the best environments in college basketball. So it's a lot of fun. The rivalry, for people who aren't familiar with it, I mean, just having experienced it, how would you describe it? It's crazy. It, the, it, it feels like every single year the game just feels different compared to most games on your schedule. Obviously, every game is important, but being an Iowa kid like I was growing up in Iowa, this game just, for whatever reason, always felt like really important. And I remember when I was younger, my freshman and sophomore years, uh, there's a lot of Iowa State kids that didn't really get recruited by Iowa. So it was a big, it's a big uh, mentally tested game to be able to play against those guys and try to pull off a win. So, um, but that's what makes these rivalries so great. It's, it's players like that coming from hometown cities like in Iowa. I mean, definitely the shoes when I left on that, that would always be um, number one. And it's not even only just the shoes I left. I was able to donate $26,000 to the Children's Hospital. So um, kind of make a fun thing turn into a really special thing is, is really cool I got to do. But I'm just looking back at my career, just going from freshman to my final year, playing at Hilton, just all the ups and downs, how I grew into a man from a young kid. It's, it's pretty special to look back on and all the characteristics I gathered. And a lot of it just came from like a Cyhawk rivalry, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, you know, they're playing at home tonight. The guys are playing at Carver. What is it about Carver that makes it such an electric environment? I think it's just the fan base. Uh, you can say the same thing about Iowa State and Hilton, but um, I think Iowa fans are the best fans in the country. Obviously, I'm biased because I went there, but um, with there being no major professional team in the state, that a lot of these fans are dedicated so much to these players that are on these university teams, and that's what makes it so great, especially for the Cyhawk rivalry, and these games are always, I wish I could go back and play another year. It's so much fun. Yeah, and I mean, how, where would you rank it? I know you said you're probably a little biased, but where would you rank it among other college rivalries in the country, especially when it comes up to basketball? Oh, it's easily number one rivalry in the entire country. I don't see... I, as my as competitive wise as this one, I mean, you can argue like Michigan, Michigan State's out there, um, being a Big Ten bias for myself, obviously. But I think Iowa, Iowa State, just because there's no professional teams here and fans just love their Hawks and love their Cyclones, it makes every single year not only for basketball, but football and all the other sports so important for these kids. Yeah, when you look at uh, you know the guys in this year's uh, matchup, what are you kind of looking forward to? Kind of the matchup? I mean, both teams have some really good players. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting dynamic with Iowa playing really fast and up-tempo, and Iowa State plays really methodical and really great defense. So I would look at Iowa try to push the pace, but I think it's going to be a really competitive game. I would imagine it's, it's going to come down to one final shot, which I hope it does. I love competitive games like this, selfishly, so I, I'm looking forward to watch it. Yeah, and my last question is, kind of what does it mean to the guys in the locker room, on both sides, to the win? I mean, I know sometimes players will say, ah, it's just another game, but I think maybe deep down, yeah, I think a lot of people on the outside, when they lose, they say, oh, it's just a game. And when you win, everyone's all so excited because it's so big for the state. I think everyone knows in the state that this means so much to a lot of people and a lot of families out there, especially to the players in the locker room. I remember when I was a freshman, all the kids from out of state played in the game, and they didn't really understand the gravity of it. And then they played in the game, and they realized, oh, we, this is a game that needs to be circled every single year. So people who say it's not important are just lying. <laughs>